Hi there everybody. I'm Bill with Tiny House Prepper and today is mine and Elizabeth's 39th wedding anniversary. This morning I'm going to make her a very special surprise breakfast. She knows nothing about this. She knows nothing about the gadgets that I'm going to be using that I'll show you in a minute. And it's a surprise breakfast for her. She doesn't know I'm doing it. And doing this in our little RV tiny house with keeping it a surprise from her when she's just right back there is going to be a challenge. <laughs> but I'm going to get it done. Tiny house prepper. Now the strawberries we want to cut into the shape of a heart. And we do that by taking a notch out of the top. Just like that. And then we want to slice it. So that you have a little heart-shaped strawberry right there. See our little hearts? Heart strawberries. So how's that for some love? heart-shaped strawberries. We both love bacon, but we actually don't have it very often. In fact, as I started cooking this, all of a sudden I suddenly realized that because of the smell of the bacon, I was open over an open fire at a campsite. <laughs> and I realized most of the time we ever use bacon is only when we go camping. And I don't know why that is. But as soon as I put this on, I was on a in the campsite over an open fire. Now the special gadgets that I mentioned are these. These are uh, pancake and egg forms that you put in the uh, pan. Notice the shape for our romantic 39th anniversary breakfast. These are made out of silicone. They're pretty cool. Elizabeth does not know anything about these. She does not know I have them. So this is the surprise for her this morning. Now these are supposed to be completely non-stick. You just use them the way they are but I have found that it works a little bit better if you coat a little bit of oil on the inside. I've got some oil in here. This is not hot. I haven't turned the fire on yet. But I just take a little bit of oil and just smear it around on the inside just to keep it from sticking. Now I'll turn the fire on. Okay, so now we're ready to start cooking the pancakes. Now this is a gluten-free pancake mix that I mixed up. We just uh, used the, glu the gluten-free um, flour from Thrive Life. Since Elizabeth is celiac, she can't have gluten. Thrive Life gluten-free flour is the best gluten-free pancake or flour mix we've ever found. It's so good that I eat it too and I can't even tell that it's gluten-free. Now when you fill these, you don't want to put too much in there. First time I did this, I made the mistake of putting way too much in there. And as it cooked, it rose and it spilled all out the top and it completely lost the shape 
so you don't want to fill it up more than about halfway otherwise it'll be a mess okay so you can see here now I only filled these about halfway up and already they're full all the way to the top I I put a little bit too much in here even at this trying to keep it down but just like any pancake as soon as they start to bubble you want to turn it over see that's over a little bit overdone because I put too much batter in there and waiting until it started to bubble a little bit made the bottoms a little bit too dark so don't put too much batter in there okay now because I put too much batter in there you see where it spilled out around a little bit you can easily just trim that off so that it looks like a real heart So going to do one egg. Well, the egg shape in the heart didn't come out exactly right, but it's close. Now to do the finishing touches. Two heart-shaped pancakes. One heart-shaped egg. pieces of bacon that's too much clutter I'll give her more bacon after she sees this <clears throat> now I take the heart shaped strawberries just lay them all around here like that now I have strawberry syrup this is Maple Grove Farms of Vermont 
no high fructose corn syrup that's very important to us and there you have it let's see what she thinks of it This is nice. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. So happy 39th anniversary. <laughs> Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> what a sweetie. I'm so gravelly in the mornings. <laughs> yeah. Would you like some orange juice? Oh yeah, that sounds really good. Thank you. <coughs> OJ. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. Oh, wow. This is ritzy. <laughs> oh. Happy anniversary. Oh, <laughs> how cool is that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. The egg, the, the hearts, the. Oh, sweetheart. That is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. There's strawberry um, syrup on there, and I've got more there if you want it. Archie, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Are you going to join me? or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Our, my romantic... 39th anniversary breakfast. I think I pulled it off okay. Yeah, did, you I, did I do good? You sure did. <laughs> I think that all the women especially will understand that not only was that just really sweet and it was a really nice surprise to get up to this morning, but what makes it mean so much to me is the planning and thought that you put into it. That's, that's pretty neat, sweetheart. Yeah, it took a little bit of planning and conniving to get all that <laughs> stuff in here without you know, knowing about it. <laughs> yep. Um, I wanted to thank Mark from RV Love for giving me the idea. He and his wife are full-time RVers and they have a channel called RV Love and he did a video that sh that showed me how to do this. Cool. He recommended the uh, you know the forms for the eggs and the pancakes and he showed me how to cut up the strawberries to look like hearts and um, so check out his channel RV Love Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also, the uh, the forms for the the heart-shaped forms are readily available on Amazon. I just went and found found them on Amazon. Neat. Thank you, sweet. Alrighty, I love you. I love you too. I'm dripping wet, but he still loves me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really humid. Yes, and I just took a shower, and it is. <laughs> it's like 92 percent humidity. So. Yeah. It's not hot, but man, we're just dripping sweat. Yeah, but at least it's clean sweat. <laughs> anyway, alrighty. <laughs> Love you guys.